a land of oppressed people. The sound of stress and despair echoed everywhere. But a man chosen by Jehovah from among the slave masters led the people to a land of freedom. My God moves in mysterious ways. My God moves in mysterious ways. Listen, y'all. That was a place called Egypt land. Ruled by a king called Pharaoh. A evil man. Now, old Pharaoh sent out a raid to kill all newborn Hebrew males. There was a woman with tears in her eyes. She had to find a place for her Hebrew baby to hide. Moses was that Hebrew baby. This mother hid him on a river called Nile. He was found by the Pharaoh's daughter. He was just a Hebrew child. My God moved in mysterious ways. Listen, y'all. Now, although Moses grew up in the king's palace, he was still just a son of a Hebrew slave. One day, while Moses out in the wilderness, his curiosity was aroused. Moses came to Mount Sinai with just a rod in his hand. One thing Father didn't know is that Jehovah had a plan. Climbed all the way to the mountain top, wow, to see what he could see. And a boy from a bush on fire began to speak. The voice said, Moses, go down and eat your flesh. Tell the Pharaoh that I said, let my people go. Moses tried to tell the Pharaoh about a God that he did not know. Man. So Jehovah had to move his hand. My God moved in mysterious ways. Look at him moving. My God moves in mysterious ways. Now listen, y'all. The old Pharaoh finally gave up and told Moses to take the people and go. But when Moses The Lord told Moses, stretch out your rod, Moses. And that's just what, that's just what, that's just what, that's just what Moses did. Tell me the wall. 